let's talk about a skill that is kind is actually very useful. Hello my weavings, Zabek here, and welcome to another video of Woodscape 3 Skill Talk. Been a long time I've done this before oh and I want to do something better do something different for these skills after all. As you know there are twenty nine skills skills in the game of Woodscape. And I want to talk about each skill L, uh, on based on the skill tree. So we have a four trees for the skills: gathering, combat, Artemis, and support. I'm going to start with the Artemis skill, um, skill tree first. Just talk about them, what they do in the term, and what kind, of, and then what category these skills actually fit uh, fit into. So let's start with the categories to what these skills actually fit into. Ooh. So my favorite skill is smithing. The least favorite skill is construction. That's not. That's actually my least least favorite one. The slowest skill is fletching, the fastest skill is fire making, the hardest skill is wound crafting, the easy one is cooking, the cheapest is crafting, and the, the most expensive one ever, that's high of a cost of money, is herbal. Oh. Alright, so Let's suggest about these skills. After, after all, so. so smithing is a decent skill. It's actually kind of reasonable. Oh, you have your making armor and weapons, and 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 to that, that you actually use some bars to make the armor and weapons. And that's the way of smithing. How is useful? Well, it's actually very useful for for melee. The combat power of melee, you, you can make swords, armor for your defense, and and probably some some other weapons that allows you to use for strength. And I'm pretty sure a what was it? This one. The Abyssal Bane actually costs a strength level to win it. Yeah, because you do need an Abyssal Whip, actually. You get a point, okay? Another thing about smithing is a Master Work Armor, or a Master Work Weapon, too. Two, and each one is like really good in that setting. So like this is this is the master of armor. And you got you can actually upgrade it to 292. Right here with the trim version of the master work armor. Right, and then you can up and then these are actually uh, the new weapons weapons you can actually max out and those are or the masterwork two-handed sword. Sword. So yeah, is actually level 99. We you know. Anyway, there you, there you have it. Watch out for yourself. Oh, the skill is actually pretty pretty good for the Artemis tree. All right, the least favorite one, construction. So construction is. A is a skill that you just do a bunch of building. You build some houses, you build some furniture, sure, and and that's pretty much it. And these so where I'm standing of this area is actually full frontier. This is where you actually train your construction for a better method to level 99. If you want to get level 99 construction, just go here. Here, full frontier, do the quest line of it, and then you lock 
a lot of buildings to to the fort. So then you have a workshop, a oh, actually can go here. Do I say this? You have a workshop, a kitchen, a guardhouse, a town hall, a central command center, a chapel, a grove, the ranger workshop, and the bottomless workbench. Those three, uh, those are the buildings you can actually build, and those actually gives you the strength to level up to 99. Yeah. So, <laughs> You rather come here to work on, work on the skill of, of construction. That was actually my fa my least favorite. It's because it's kind of boring. And the slowest skill is fletching. So fletching, you just go ahead and bring your log, and you have to fletch it at work at the fletching workbench. And then you just fletch these. Uh, at, hold on, let me go back here. And then you fletch these uh, arrows, like you fetch the arrows or the bows. It's really, it's really up to you. You. And yeah, there's nothing reasonable about it. Nothing so suitable about it because all you do is just you flesh bows, you flesh arrows, arrows, and. Um, and it's slow and do so and especially we have to gather the items you have to do some wood cutting thing and you have to do some farming which is gathering the the flex and the wood is with the logs so it's pretty slow and do so after all fastest is fire making and why is it so fast? It's actually because there's so many good methods about fire making. One of the best methods is actually the NC6. Those are actually really useful for fire making. And you can actually use instance. NC6 requires two logs, logs, and then you upgrade them into ashes, shiz, instincts, and then you use, and then you, up, you actually can upgrade them again with your herbs and it gives you a whole bunch of lines and uh, experience in these up. So if you want to train fire making you could do instant sinks or bonfires actually in these so if you go to the grove app and do yeah there's a whole forest of trees you can cut down and it allows you to use uh, two skills, fletching and fire making, and after all, but I think this goes up overlay to elder. So, which is actually the highest you can you can actually fire make elder logs. So yeah, it's pretty fast and it's pretty um, very I say quite useful in these so. The hardest skill is wound crafting. Now, why is it so hard? Well, it's actually because of the different kind of requirements you need. First are the quests. Those quests are crazy. If you want to get the soul altar unlocked, you need you need to complete the desert storyline of of your quest log. I'm gonna go to series. I'm gonna toggle sh oh, show complete date, and I'm gonna show you there's so many desert quests for a soul, just as a soul water. Uh, shoot, where is it? Here it is. There it is. So that's the li line of quests for the desert to unlock the soul altar. Yeah. All the way to the end of Pirate Club. 
that one is the hardest especially when you want to unlock um key cosmic you need to do the quest lost city and if you want to do the and if you want to unlock the artemis um altar you need to do the quest lunar lunar dictionary uh or lunar diplomacy and also if you wanted to do unlock the death altar which is actually a very powerful um wound to use uh, and also blood too blood altar is actually a very powerful wound too you need to do the half of the elf all the way to Morty and his part two and do vampire sort line halfway actually actually I believe up all the way to it's not the one where's Miss Linus? I might not miss my things. Um, my false mistake. <laughs> to Bl Lord of Vampirism, that's the one you need to do to unlock it. Or it is branches of dark matter. I think it's branches of dark matter. I think. But it's actually kind of interesting why that skill is actually very, very hard, hard to actually do, just because of, of tons of quests you have to do. Before you can actually get that skill to level 99, <laughs> and don't even bother doing it in its moon span too much. Alright, cooking. Cooking is so easy to actually train. All you do is just bring some raw food. And it, it could be anything you like, mainly it's fish, everybody, everybody does that actually. And you just cook it to, you just bring it to a range, and then cook it straight away. Sometimes it comes out burnt, sometimes it comes out cooked, uh, successful. So that's why it's actually pretty easy to actually uh, train. So cooking is a, it's, I would say useful skill in these show. Oh. Um, it can heal your health back up. If you're low on health, you always use the food that you cook for. Oh, everybody uses fish to actually cook some food. If I got my fishing tab. The, the best fish is actually sailfish. And that's constitution of 96. So, um, yeah. And it's very useful in, in the show. So definitely uh, go ahead and think about cooking being being the easiest. Alright. Cheapest one is actually crafting. So why crafting is so cheap? Well, because the only items you actually craft is your is um, armor for range. You can also use armor for magic too. I don't think it's in this. It's in this fort. Um, fort. The crafting things. Yeah, the crafting me mechanics. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, a crafting is like a way of making magic armor or range armor. That's pretty much it. It's in these cells. They don't even. Uh, I wait. Do they have you unlock the tier sixty armor for range? Oh, it's tier seventy. Let me go to crafting. Uh. You can actually. I'm pretty sure it's under here somewhere. Yep. 
Oh, yeah. 60. Tail 60, actually, is the one. Okay, so 65. You get the point. Point is very, it's actually kind of, um, quite useful for uh, Wayne Java and, and Magic, too. So, yeah. There you have it. Crappy and Diesel. Uh, oh. And then finally is Purple. Purple is very, is actually the most expensive armor, I mean, skill to actually do. So, why am I saying it's actually expensive? Well, look at the ingredients you have to actually, to actually make a potion. You need a water vowel, a vowel of water. I'll show you, here you go. So, I forgot to one that's actually kind of useful. Oh, let me let me find it. It it's like a prayer potion. Here you go. All right, so this one is very useful for combat. The prayer potion. You need a vial of water and a a, a clean wall. Wall. Combine those two to make a wall potion. Unfinished, then you have to co gather some seed grass and you and combine that seed grass to make a prayer potion. And especially when there's four, okay, there's four different kind of vowels, like bottles in these so. So you got the vowels, you got the flask, you got the overlords. The crystal flask and these so the bombs and the power buds actually the five for my sake so the five the kind of bottles the power the, the bombs and the power buds are are above 99 the flask the vowels and the crystal flask are below 99 no. And the thing is that if you go under combination potions, they are more expensive than, than anything else. Why that? Because you have to buy the recipe first before you can actually make them. See, it tells you. You must buy this recipe before you can actually make it. It is it, at the Pippinus area. That's why it's so expensive. Some of these combo potions actually cost 10 mil or 5 mil. Oh, I think the Elder... Elder, Elder Overlord potion costs like 8 mil or 10 mil. Depends how much, how powerful this potion is. You know it could be expensive. It. So definitely, that that why this scale football is too expensive in diesel. Anyway, that's all I have to say about these skills. So there you go. That's it. I don't think I have remember enough about them in diesel. So if I know uh, what sk skills I would skirt to on. If you want to have fun with a skill, go ahead with smithing. And if you want to have the chance just to finish up the skill, destruction, just go to Fort Bonneteal, do the whole thing of the quest line, and you unlock all the buildings for your construction skill. So, so yeah. And if you want to. And if you want to boost up your XP, go ahead and use fletching for the skill. Um, don't even bother with, with fire making, even though it's actually kind of fast in the so. Good luck questing for, for a, a very long time with, with your wound crafting skill. Cooking. We actually just heal you forever. Crafting thing, we're just 
say you say you get a life uh, range and magic armor, and and I hope you actually witch for the skill of a herbal. So uh, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> hope you enjoy this video, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll go over the gathering skill when I get the chance. So that's it. It and let's do that as well. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Join two Ravens. Do for follow me on my social media accounts, and I'll see you next time. Bye.